Alrighty, hello guys, welcome to Faces back to another Stormworks Search and Destroy video. Today we are continuing on with our plane, as you guys can see. Now what we're going to do today is we're actually going to go ahead and modify this thing so that it can hold some bombs. Now you might be wondering, where in the world would the bombs go? Uh, we can't really have a bomb bay because, uh, yes, there is our fuel tank right here. And also we need this area to actually be sealed, which it can't be if we have a bomb bay. So yeah, that is out of the question. Uh, however, there are other things that we can do. We can actually use the wings, and we can put bombs underneath the wings, or we can actually put bombs in the wings. So I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to make our bomb bay in the wings. Let's do this. Okie dokie, so in real life, a PBY, uh, which is like similar to this, I guess, uh, could actually have bombs inside the wings, I believe. Uh, I think a BB-238 also did is like the same thing or a similar thing, uh, which is very, very interesting. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and delete this on both sides, uh, because we should. So there we go, we're going to go ahead and delete that down to, I want to say down to there, that'd be pretty awesome. Uh, and honestly, this bit back here needs sealing, so we'll actually put this back in. Uh, just like so, very good, and we'll seal that all the way up to there, and then we'll do this. Alright, very good. We'll then seal this off, all the way across there, and we'll seal these guys as well, just because we should. Alright, one there, and one there. Alright, cool. So that little area in there is sealed. We're gonna go ahead and paint it all yellow, uh, because I feel like we should, and that is awesome. Right, so, our bombs are actually gonna fit directly into there. How are we gonna do them? I don't know. So, warhead, this is what we need. So, we want a small warhead that is going to go on there sort of like this. We need an impact sensor, and that is it. That's all it's going to consist of. So put that right there. Get ourselves a warhead and attach it straight onto there. There we go. Go ahead and connect this with this and make this something quite harsh, like 30. There we go. We will need to make sure this actually works, but we'll go ahead and grab this, grab this, copy it. There we go. Push it over to the side, paste it in, push it over to the side, paste it in. Push it to the side, paste it in, you get it, yeah? You guys all understand how this works. Alright, so there we go. Alright, very good. Bam! We can actually put these ones in all the way back across as well, and that will be awesome. Alright, there we go. Bam, 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 and bam. Alright, cool. So, that is all of those done. We then would actually try and grab all of these, uh, so all the way up to there if we can. Go ahead and copy them, move them all the way over to the other side, just like so. And paste them right there. Okay, very good. So now we just need doors to actually open to drop these guys out. That's all we need. Okay, so the way that I'm actually planning on doing this then is actually having a door open from there. And a similar thing happen on this bit as well. So we'll delete both of these guys. Make sure we paint all of the areas that get exposed because otherwise it'll look weird. There we go. Grab ourselves a pivot and whack it straight on. Here we go. Whack the pivot straight onto there. Do it straight onto here as well. Very good. And yeah, no, this is good. This is very good. So honestly, this is going to go on here like this. Bam. There we go. Uh, and we actually need to fix that to this bit as well. Okay, so that's going to fix onto there, which will actually allow this to fall out. Okay. So this is going to fold down. All right. Is this going to work? Who knows? Who knows if this is going to work? Nobody. Alright, so then we're going to attach this onto here like so, and we'll do the same thing uh, with this piece, just like this, and that looks kind of interesting, but kind of weird. Okie dokie, delete all of that to there, delete that guy as well, actually don't, don't, we need to paint this, paint this as well, very good, and then we're going to do something like, whoa, like that, there we go, and hopefully that'll all open. I'm assuming that it will, however, there are... Problems that could occur. <laughs> there are problems that could occur with this. All right, so let's give it some electricity. Um, do, 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 do. Yeah, we'll give it electricity first, uh, and then we'll see what happens from there. So here we go. Go up to here, grab the electricity, attach it up to there. Do the same thing with this one. Bam. We'll do a similar thing with these guys as well. Up to there, and uh, bam. There we go. All right, cool. Very good. Uh, and they should open. So we need a throttle lever. And that's it. Alright, whack it on the nose, or very close to the nose, I guess. And we need it somewhere, so that the doors actually open, uh, and so that we can watch them open. There we go, so put that there, very good. Attach this onto here and here. Same with these guys, there and there. 
Spawn it in, let's see what happens. Please don't explode. Okay, didn't explode. Very good. So, uh, realistically, uh, building the bombs like this is a bad idea. If we get shot, it'll probably explode them. But anyway, let's do this. Nothing happened. What the heck? What the heck in heck? It is attached, right? They are... No, wait, where are they? They are attached. It's just they didn't do anything. It didn't actually move them. So if we invert it and we try again, inverter, let's try it. Okay, so a numerical inverter, let's go ahead and put this on the side of there just for now. There we go. Go ahead and put this right here. Awesome. All right, so this will go into there. This will then connect onto this one, this one, uh, this one, and this one. We spawn it in. We see what happens. Let's do it. All right, here we go. Over we are. Do this. Doors open, bombs fall out. Except the rear one is weird. The rear one is weird. Why has that happened? It can't actually open. All right, cool. We got this, guys. I know exactly what happened there. We just need to move the thingamabobby backwards, this guy, uh, and then it will actually open properly, and that'll be great. All right, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Go ahead and grab this, cut it, move it backwards, paste it in, merge it in, and we'll be good. And just for this, this for this. Very good. Fill that in. Okay, to the other side, we need to do exactly the same thing. So we're going to go ahead and cut this, move it backwards, paste it, fill this in. There we go. Merge it, merge it, merge it, merge it, and we are good to go. All right, awesome. So now the bomb bays should actually work. They should be fine, and uh, they, yeah, they'll be good. All right, so let's go ahead and do this. Open up those. Bombs all fall out at the same time. Epic. And we can close them back up, and that is... Yeah, that's fine. Awesome. Okie dokie, right. So, we're going to delete this, we're going to delete this. Alright, we're going to go inside, and we are going to put our uh, inverter down here, because we should. Bam, there we go. And we'll attach this directly up to the thingies. So, up to there, up to there, and up to here and here. Okay, that is excellent. So, now what do we need? We need a switch box. So, we'll grab one of those. Here we go, switch box can go right there. There's beeping. All right, okay, the beeping has stopped. Don't worry, guys. All right, number. Let's go ahead and get a number real quick. And we'll put it... Actually, we don't need a number. We don't, because we've got constant numbers literally littered everywhere. Um, all right, this right here is a constant number, and it is one. That's what we need. Okay, so this is going to go to on. This is going to go into there. This is going to be connected to the seat, I'm assuming. Here we go. So the seat was five, okay. Five is going to be named uh, Drop Bombs. Drop Bombs, and that's it. All right, let's go. Let's see if we can take off, fly around, drop the bombs, hit a target, and they'll all explode. Let's see if that actually works. Here we go. All right, start these up. Okay, so that didn't explode them. Okay, bring that up. Awesome. And we are indeed flying. Okay, so we'll fly over to the Isle of Donk, and then we'll drop them, and hopefully everything will go well. Let's do it. It is still probably worth mentioning, though, if we do get shot at right now, these bombs are definitely, definitely defective, and they will explode us. So we need to make sure that we remember that. Uh, the bottom of the wing, I actually need to paint too on the back, I've just noticed, and the bottom of the engine, I think I want to paint that a different color too. So we'll actually fix those, uh, and paint those a different color, because we should. And that'll be awesome. But anyway, we're almost at our target. We're going to drop them. Hopefully, 30 meters per second is a decent impact speed. Uh, and hopefully, the bombs can actually get up to that speed. So, yeah, let's see if we can. Okie dokie, we are getting pretty close now. So, let's continue flying over. And I was going to aim for the... Uh, I was going to aim for the quarry. And actually, now that we're flying, that does seem like a cool idea. All right, here we go. We are flying over the quarry. Go ahead and press 5. Bombs open, bombs drop, there we go, alright, cool, well we've dropped a lot of them, one of them has stayed in, and that one doesn't appear to want to drop, okay, we need to see where, where the bombs hit, oh, there they are, nice, okay, so that is actually enough to make them explode, very good, that's really, really cool, however, one of our bombs has actually stuck itself in there, and it doesn't actually move, I don't know whether that one's actually just attached to something, or not, Maybe it is. I don't know. That one seems wrong anyway. So left side, we'll, we'll try and figure that out. Let's do this! Alright, grab the plane. Yes. 
because uh, it might just be attached to the wing and uh, obviously then it wouldn't actually fall because it's merged. But it's this side, here we go, and it is, it is in here somewhere. Oh god. Oh golly. Oh golly gosh. Yeah, look, it's merged. It's merged. So actually, we need to grab this one, grab this one, cut it, paste it, that's it. That's literally all we need to do. Alright, very good. Put this back on here, like so. Ah, what the heck? No. Turn it around. There we go. Whack that on there. Very good. And honestly, we could actually whack this one on here as well, like that. But I'm thinking we attach this piece onto there, like so. And then we attach this piece onto here, like so as well. And then we merge that with that, which is already merged. Alright, fantastic. So, now all of the bombs will drop. Let's go ahead and take off one more time. Get flying, drop all the bombs, see if it works. Let's do this. All right, here we go. Everybody ready? Engines on. And... We're almost in the sky. We are in the sky. Good, we are flying. Awesome. We don't have to fly too fast or too high. We just got to drop the bombs. That's all I want to do. So, get quite high, or at least a little bit higher. And then we'll just start unloading them. Yeah. Figured we might as well try and hit something, so we are going to try and hit this island. Hopefully that will work. So, uh, this is a lighthouse OB. Let's go ahead and fly quite close. And then we'll drop the bombs here. One bay doors have opened. We have missed the target. However, they have all dropped. Oh, they're sick, actually. They're really, really cool. Alright, and have all of them dropped? Yes, they have. Press 3 again. Sorry, 5. And we are good to fly away. Alright, perfect. We did it, guys. We did it. We built a bomb bay in the wings, and it works. That's great. Okie dokie. So, with that being said, that is all done for us. We're going to go ahead and paint the underside of these engines. We're actually going to make them all yellow, because I feel like we should. So, we're just going to go ahead and paint all this in. There we go. Do all of this. All the way along. There we go. And all of this side, too. There we go. Alright, cool. Uh, then, we have to do the bottom side of this as well. So we'll just do, whoa, <laughs> whoa, I just managed to paint the inside a little bit, and also I managed to not paint this at all, which is annoying, but there you go, that's very easy, there we go, we're done. Uh, that piece right there, if I could paint it, I would, however, it feels a little bit impossible to paint, honestly, I can't, I can't paint it. Something's wrong with that bit, but that's okay, even if it is a different colour, that's okay. Alright, nice, I actually really, really like this plane right now. Uh, a few of you guys have said the wings are too small, uh, and you could be correct, to be honest. They look a bit small in here, but remember, we do have the addition of four extra blocks uh, on the edge of the wings once we are in the air. So, I, I think that's enough. I do, I think that's enough. Um, but there we go. We got a bomb bay, we've got a working plane, it actually takes off, it flies. We got a gyro, we got a front gunner, we got some side gunners on the back. That is awesome. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here for now. Thank you guys very, very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. I almost forgot. We need to change the color. We need to change the color real quick. I kind of want it to be orange, I'm not going to lie, but not like that. Although that doesn't look too bad. It looks weird, but we'll roll with that. It's obviously going to change, but we'll keep it for now. Cool. Guys, I've encountered a weird situation. It feels like I am still in the water and there is water spraying everywhere. Uh, in fact, actually, if you look in the water below us, you can see that the plane is still leaving trails in the water down there. That is really weird. That's really, really strange. And I don't know why that is. But there you go. We've got a, we've got a bug going on. That's really weird. That's really, really strange. Oh well, there's the bombs gone, and uh, yes, I actually really, really liked it in this colour, which is strange, but there you go. Anyway, bombs have dropped, I want to show you guys before it finishes, they will explode down there. And they actually exploded in the water, which is excellent. Anyway, thanks for watching, see you in the next one, goodbye.